what's up everybody? It's Babon 1337. This is a special edition of You Should Play This. I'm Babon. This is Tim Creed. Diamond Mine Tattoos in Buzzards Bay. I'm about to get ink, so uh, let's check it out. Let's do it. Rad. Oh, uh, I opened the shop uh, almost six years ago in 2009. And uh, I started tattooing in 1995, so almost 20 years I've been tattooing. My favorite video game is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now. I play it all day, or every day, pretty much every morning. And what got me into tattooing in the first place was, you know, I pretty much thought it was, you know, just another way to do art. I was uh, making art and doing paintings and stuff when I was younger, and then just kind of evolved into that's what I was doing for my job and for work and so I kept with it and started getting tattooed a lot myself and that's part of why I kind of pursued it even more was the joy of getting tattooed also coincided with doing tattoos and, and uh, all that good stuff so uh, and just it's great tattooing is awesome you can travel you can do anything with tattooing and make a good living you know, it's an art, art career which is great, and you know, it's always it's always great to have people enjoy what you're doing, and so that, that's why I like it. Tattooing and video games and, and art in general, you know, I I think that, that for me personally, I think I like the you know the way that the video games are, you know, uh, in the sense that you kind of have to stay nimble in your mind, in your eyes, your in your hands, and so. It's good practice to kind of stay nimble and quick with, with my hands whenever I'm tattooing. You know, that definitely crosses over into, you know, what I need to do to maintain. And, you know, there again, video games require focus and, you know, so does tattooing. You know, a little slip up and there you go, headshot, you know what I mean? It's the dead, you know what I mean? So it's important to make sure your lines are straight, everything's perfect basically because you're doing somebody's artwork. So.